understanding how the layer system works in Kittle is going to give you some pretty powerful editing capability, and it's also going to help you be organized. So we're going to look at how to bring things forward and backwards, how to rename things, stuff like that. So hey, if you're new to Kittle, go ahead and sign up for free using the link down in the description, and then you can even follow along. So let's take a look at how to use the layer system right now. All right, if we take a look here in the bottom right, we have our layers panel. So now I have it open. You can see everything that's going on in the artboard itself. You can see all these elements. Now if I select the hand, you can see it's highlighted here with this gray, and I can toggle it on and off with the little eye here. So if I want it off, boom, or if I turn it back on that way, you can also do it with anything else that you can turn it on or off easily. Now you can also lock items. So if I lock it here and then maybe we want to get rid of everything, we can select everything, hit backspace and boom. Now we just have the hand. We go down here and undo, bring that all back and unlock this right here. But that is one way you can easily uh, just unlock things. Now you can also double click in and label it. It's always a good idea to label it, which we'll get to here in a little bit. So now I know that's the hand, for example. Now we can also do things like bring things forward and backward. So I have this Bigfoot text right here. Maybe I move it down, but I don't want it above the hand here. Now I can right click on this text and then I can send it backwards. So if I send it backward just once, you can see over in the layers panel, it adjusted itself. Now I can keep doing this. So I can right click and I can hit backward, but it's a little bit tedious. You can see that it's taking kind of a while to get there behind the hand. I can also just click and drag this big foot and drag it underneath the hand because I know where the hand is because I labeled it. So now boom, I've put it underneath it and you can easily move layers just like that. If I zoom in here just a little bit, I also want to note that sometimes it can be tedious to try to grab things like these little lines. They're kind of hard to grab and if it, it takes a while to kind of grab everything together. Now you can hold multiple items by holding shift and clicking and I can select it all. So now I've selected all of it and I can move it around. But what's easier is grouping it. So if I right click, I can go right here to where it says group, ungroup, it's the same command. Now I can label this as number two because it's the second logo here. And then now I have everything grouped together and everything is inside this one group. So I can label this right here, the trapezoid in the back. So I know that that's what's going on there. I can label this one as the line and then I can label this other one as a line. And so everything is really nice and organized here together. Now. You can also do things like group inside of a group. So now I've grouped these two lines and I can label these the lines here because I want to make sure they're easy to use. I can take them off if I don't like them or I can turn them on if I want. Uh, and that way it just makes it easier and more organized for you to use. Now you can also group these sub groups, for example. So I have uh, the lines and I have these subtexts like a Paraco and New York where it's from and I can hit command or control G to group things and now I have this subgroup of text here at the bottom. And again, ungrouping is also command or control G to, uh, to ungroup and group at the same time. So now if I grab everything together, I can move it easily. And if you double click in like I just did now, you can move just apparel code because I have groups inside of a group. And so that's how you would do everything. Now if I unclick and click again, now I'm in the entire group. So that is just one way that you can be more organized. And let's quickly do that for the rest of our logos here. I'm just going to speed through grouping the rest of them. Now that we have them all together, uh, we can move them up and down. If you want them to be one, two, three, four, like that, you can easily, easily move them in order like that. And I can move each one. No problem. I can swap them because they're all together. And now I don't have just a bunch of straight elements all over the board trying to hunt and search for the right ones. I've got them all nicely neat and grouped together. Now what's really cool also is if I change the artboard size, let's say I want to make this wider, maybe I'm going to do something else, maybe I'm going to include more versions of this logo, and I want these all to be in the center. If I grab them all, I could try to line them up with my eye to try to kind of make them in the center, but I could also just group all of them together. Uh, command or control G boom and I can hit center and now they're exactly in the center so all of those together are in the center now if I select it and hit command or control G again they're ungrouped back to the way that I had them before and they're easy to use just like that and that's all there is to it now, if you want to see other cool tips and tricks on how to use Kittle, I have some videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials and updates and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, create magic.